The vast majority of Muslims in the world are not Arab. But the vast majority of Muslims in the world do learn how to read the Quran and then they teach their kids. So millions and millions, hundreds of millions of Muslims around the world know how to sound the Arabic sounds of the Quran. They know some surahs by heart, they hear it in their prayers. And a huge majority of them don't understand the Arabic language, they don't understand what they're reciting. And it seems like learning Arabic is just too big of a task, it's just too hard, there's too much to learn, and it seems like you have to kind of leave your job, leave your school, leave your family, go find a desert, sit under a tree, hopefully next to a camel so it's more exotic, and that's the only way you can learn Arabic. But Allah opened doors for me to learn Arabic while I was living in New York City, and just learn a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, and I was just grasping at straws. And then eventually I, I realized the only way I can keep this stuff is if I start teaching this stuff. And then I realized that even Arabic, because I come from a, a programming and kind of a systems background, tech background, what's the shortest path? What's the shortest, you know, the, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? So I don't want to learn the Arabic to order a shawarma right now. I don't want to learn the Arabic to get a taxi. I want to learn the Arabic that when I stand in the prayer, I get what Allah is saying. Like that's the Arabic I need. I don't really care if I don't know how to make conversation yet. I'll care about that later, but that's second priority. My first priority is I just want to feel connected to the Quran, right? So I put this curriculum together. I learned a good chunk of it from one of my teachers. I made some enhancements to it. And I started teaching it to just friends in college. And then eventually it kind of kept getting refined as I learned what students are having trouble with. Because I could see the trouble they were having. I've had it as a student myself. I'm not teaching it from a teacher's point of view. I'm teaching it from a student's point of view, right? And it kind of became this, alhamdulillah, a revolution in teaching the Arabic of the Quran. And thousands upon thousands of students around the world uh, started taking this course. I, I taught this course in 70 cities across the US. I started traveling abroad to teach this course. Thousands of students in Indonesia took this course. And then eventually I decided to put this course online and to just stop teaching it altogether. And I made a full-time program, uh, you know, an entire campus, the dream program and all of it. But now I've decided to refresh that experience for myself, the, the course that actually launched Bayan as a, as, and my career really in this space. Um, I've decided to teach it again and hopefully teach it every year, but this year I've decided to teach it to your community at the East Plano Islamic Center. Uh, it's 10 nights and I'm going to tell you in this quick video who should be taking this class. If you're a professional, you're busy, you're a mom at home and you wish you understood the Quran better but you find Arabic intimidating, you tried before, uh, you took a course, two, three days in, you're like, this is way too much, this is too boring, I don't see any progress, I don't know what the point is, I don't know where I'm going with this, I forget, every time I learn, I forget. If these are the questions, these are the issues you had, I challenge you, give me 10 nights. Just give me 10 nights and let me prove you wrong. And let me actually have you take a class by the end of which you're not depressed about learning Arabic, you're motivated to learn Arabic. Let me change that narrative for you. If you're someone who's memorized the Quran, or your kids are memorizing the Quran, they're in a Hibs program of any kind, then I urge you and your kids to take this class. Their memorization is going to get a lot better. They're going to, inshallah, improve in you know, dwindling down the mistakes they make because they're going to understand some fundamentals of the Arabic going on. And of course, we want our kids that are memorizing the Quran to understand the language of the Quran and get deeper and deeper with it. Then on top of that, if you are a teacher, I would love for you, especially if you're a teacher at an Islamic school or any kind of program where you're teaching others Arabic, I would love for you to take this course because I want you to learn this way of teaching and steal it, adopt it. The curriculum is open source. Take it, use it. And Find the most effective ways of getting these lessons across to your students. If you have a child that's in Islamic school and they're struggling with their Arabic, like that's the part that they just can't, can't seem to make progress and you're not able to help them because you're not Arab yourself, right? Then I urge you and your child to be in this class. I want this kid, like kids, in, in my experience, children as young as seven and eight years old have excelled in this class. I recommend at least eight if they're highly studious and interested. Uh, but nine for sure, 10 for sure, and all the way to adults. You're not too old to learn, you're not too young to learn. You sh and, and if you guys do this as a family, I'm telling you, everybody's going to retain. So inshallah, my hope is that you guys join me for these 10 nights. I'm starting on May the 13th. That's the first night of the class. It's on Saturday night. If you're not sure if this is for you or not, at least come on Friday night just to get a taste of what we're going to do. Because I want you to experience this and learn it in a condensed way. Last thing I'll share with you is the hardest part of learning the Arabic language is getting the right foundation. Arabic is an ocean. Arabic, and what I'm going to teach you is not the ocean. I'm going to teach you the baby swimming pool, the, baby, the kiddie pool. That's what I'm teaching you. But this is the most important part because this is the foundation. If your foundation is solid, everything else that's super advanced and super difficult, all that stuff, that will get easier. Just like in anything else, in sports, in mathematics, in physics, in any science. If your foundation is solid, you're going to go far. If your foundation is weak, it doesn't matter how much you keep tacking on, how many PDFs you download, how many YouTube series you want, you're not going to get anywhere. But if your foundation is solid, you are going to go far with the Arabic language. I have students now, alhamdulillah, that started with me, that part-time, just like you, they're not full-time students, they're not, they haven't left their life to go study Arabic, but now they're starting to read from Arabic books. 
They can grammatically analyze ayat of the Quran and they've done that in a very short period of time. And I can get you there if I can give you the foundation. So I'm urging you, there are limited seats at the East Plano Islamic Center. It's starting on May the 13th. I want you to follow the link that's in this video. It's coming up on your screen also. Follow this link, sign up quickly. And also if you're anywhere else in the United States, if you're not in East Plano, you're not in Dallas, Fort Worth area, you're in New York, you're in Atlanta, you're in Florida, and you'd like to come study with me in person, just take these 10 days out to just, you know, don't, don't lie to your boss, tell him I gotta go learn Arabic. Uh, and I'll be back in 10 days. But come, come and take this class. Inshallah ta'ala, it will be a, a huge investment you make for your own education. So yes, I will be making this class uh, a free broadcast online that you can sign up for. But I would also really love to see some of you right in front of me taking this class directly with me. And I look forward to seeing you then. And thank you so much to the East Plano Islamic Center for their hospitality and all of the volunteers that are making this a remarkable experience, inshallah. Make dua that we're able to do this in a way that is beneficial for everybody involved. Barakallahu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa